What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today's Mega Overview is going to be for Mega Rayquaza. Now Mega Rayquaza was banned to its own tier called the Anything Goes tier by Smog on Rules. So we will be discussing the reasons for that as well today to give you an idea of how powerful Mega Rayquaza is. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Now Rayquaza does retain its dragon flying typing in its mega form, but it does get a new ability called Delta Stream, which not only nullifies all opposing weather, but it also nullifies the flying type weakness. This means that rock type, electric type, and ice type moves will not be doing super effective damage to Rayquaza because they are taken to do half damage, which means they're doing normal damage. Furthermore, abilities that are uh, weather based such as Drought and Drizzle or Desolate Land will, will be nullified and also moves such as Sunny Day or Rain Dance will be nullified and fail as well. So there is no other weather while Rayquaza is on the screen basically. Let's see if we can find a way to nullify his ability such as Skill Swap or Entrainment or something like that. You can see that Mega Rayquaza gets a pretty sizable uh, stat boost. His uh, offensive stats both go up to 180, um, which is a 30 point boost to both. And his speed is going to go up to 115, which is amazing, especially in Uber's tiers when a lot of Pokemon either need to hit base 100 speed to outspeed all the 90s or anything higher uh, because there are so many random speed numbers. He also even gets a, a little defensive buff to both of his defensive stats by 10 base stat points. So this boost in Mega Form is actually going to give Mega Rayquaza the same base stat total as Mewtwo to give you an idea of the power that it has. Now with that great uh, base stat spread, it's going to be able to run things like Dragon Dance and three attacks, or you can forego some of that speed, hit the speed number you need and run a bulky Swords Dance set with extreme speed and two attacks. Um, Something like a mix or a dedicated special attacker will work great as well just because he has a fantastic move pool with access to Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Earth Power, moves like that even though he doesn't have a way to boost his special attack like he does his physical attack, uh, Mega Rayquaza will just be hitting so hard and you have the element of surprise that those moves will be doing fantastic damage as well. Now it is important to mention that Mega Rayquaza's most unique new attacking tool is going to be Dragon's Ascent. Dragon's Ascent is a 120 base power move with uh, 90 accuracy that lowers his defense and special defense when he uses it, but it's only 10 base power lower than Draco Meteor. Um, and I'm sorry, it actually has perfect accuracy. Draco Meteor has 90 accuracy. And with access to a move that powerful with only a defensive drawback, it's actually able to get KOs on a large part of even the Uber's metagame with either a life orb or a plus one boost or both. And that's the big thing about Mega Rayquaza. It's the only Mega that can Mega Evolve and still have access to an item. And since the most common item run on Rayquaza is a life orb, you're talking about a 30% power boost to both of its offensive stats. And that just really gives it some insane damage output. That being said, there are some counters or not really counters because you have to basically sack a Pokemon to handle it, but some checks that might work out for you are going to be the counter and sturdy sash ability, something like Wobbuffet, uh, or even to a lesser extent, something like a Bastido Don that can take a hit from the, the uh, Dragon's Ascent, that can hit Rayquaza back with that damage. It does have a base 105 HP, which is really, really high, but that would put it in range for you to revenge kill it with something um, with some priority, such as uh, uh, sucker punch or an ice type move or actually ice won't move at work anymore so um, yeah it would allow you to have some range to revenge kill it with some move before it roost up and heals off all that damage fairy arceus actually also gets a special mention here just because arceus is quite bulky and being fairy means that he will be immune to the most powerful physical attack that rayquaza will have which of course will be dragon's ascent or if he's using draco meteor uh, that relegates Rayquaza to using less powerful non-stabbed options, which Arceus will be able to take and counterattack with a fairy type judgment. Uh, of course, if Rayquaza does set up too many boosts, such as Dragon Dance or Swords Dance, then Arceus will not be able to check it either. 
Um, and Trick Room is really only a pseudo check just because Rayquaza does get access to extreme speed. Um, but forcing it to use extreme speed uh, as opposed to its other moves just to get off some damage, extreme speed is going to be very weak compared to its other moves that it's using. Uh, so forcing it into that position with um, some Trick Room users, not a bad idea there. Now with that being said, some um, good partners for Rayquaza are going to be Entry Hazel Removal, uh, whether it be through Defog or through Rapid Spin. Getting rid of Stealth Rocks for a Pokemon that is weak to Stealth Rocks, always a fantastic idea. A strong Poison type attacker like Greninja with Gunk Shot or uh, Scarf Pangoro with Gunk Shot, something like that, can take out uh, Fairy Arceus with relative, um, you know, to it KO-ness. And um, depending on which one you're running, for example, the Bulky Swords Dance set might appreciate Tailwind, whereas the Dragon Dance set would appreciate screen support, uh, just because it will make it a lot easier to set up the, the boost that it's trying to accrue. So what do you guys think of Mega Rayquaza? Uh, as far as its ban goes, it can basically two hit KO almost everything in the Uber's tier. And that's because it's able to hold a Life Orb or any other item on top of its high stats. For other Pokemon with high stats like that, they basically have to give up their held item or they have an ability that's not as useful. For example, Arceus, which is has a fantastic uh, base stats total, not only does it have to give up its held item, it has to hold a plate in order to have access to different types, but its ability is relatively useless unless it's holding a plate. Um, also with some of the other Pokemon, such as Lati uh, Latias or Latios, they can't be Mega and hold a Soul Dew. Um, the orbs for Palkia and Dialga and um, Giratina, they also have to take up their held slot with an orb. And also their abilities just aren't that good. I think they all have pressure for the most part. So that is why Mega Rayquaza received that ban. It's just, it has nothing but positive traits around it. And when something that good in the tier, it's kind of hard to, to play around it, so that's a few a little a little bit of the reasoning there why they created that tier, whether you agree with it or not. I just like to lay that on the table. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like and look forward to the next mega overview. All right, bye bye guys.